Yeah, no, 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 it's not that one. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Good morning. <sighs> you know, me not updating that title card is, is such a a mainstay by now. <sighs> there, are, there are way too many things I have to update every morning. <laughs> oh, that fluffy mastermind. Yes. He is. <laughs> Now, how are you today, Beans? How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Did, did you survive your time off work? And are you looking forward to returning to the office and, and wherever else you go? Gosh, I love Moxie. Well, I hope so. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. I also have no idea why I even have a water sprayer installed in my desk. It sounds like a horrible idea. But I shall, I shall follow here. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. Um, before we talk about what I wanted to do today and what I'm not doing today, I think it's time to get a match started. <laughs> Gotta do something to wake up and for that we'll go for the loyalty chest, of course. will be a bit tough for a morning run, but if we have to do it again, we have to do it again. That's how it is. There we go. Already set up. <sighs> yeah, no, um... Static electricity is what every protogen is afraid of. Bad things happen. <laughs> but yeah, we are permanently improving everything. That's kind of what we do. And yeah, I think I've, I've noticed that. Um, I've noticed that on Friday when I got my summary for the stream and the dirt phase was the most commonly used emote. I'll, I'll take it. It's a good one. It, it's a good emote. <laughs> oh, I, I feel good. I spent all weekend doing things instead of playing video games, as I do so often. And then kind of think, hey, I should have played more video games. But I mean, come on, that's what I'm here for, right? I'm here to play video games. <laughs> yeah, I originally wanted to play old school musical, which... Um, you can ask Klitsch, he actually knows all the games as well. But yeah, I wanted to play Old School Musical, which is a very Klitschy, very unique rhythm game. Unfortunately, uh, I spent over an hour trying to reset my save game. Anytime I delete anything in Steam, the game won't start. Anytime I turn the sync off, the game won't start. I just want to reset it. And so far, I haven't been successful, so we're not playing old school musical today. We're playing other games. Because, yeah, especially to a few really good beans that showed me that, you know, you can play completely different games on stream and still have a lot of fun. I'm doing that now. I'm, I'm finally... Uh, no, I didn't, but I noticed that anytime I ask, here, let me... He is rather good with knowing the games I play, even though I didn't add them, but he does good research. And yes, it has an epileptic turkey. And yeah, it's, it's a good game. It's a fun game. It makes fun of a lot, a lot of old games from well, franchises, from Zelda to Half-Life to um, Portal to everything. The problem, like I said, is 
that I can't reset it and I, I don't want to just run back to the first level to, to sh replay the levels. That's no fun. So that's probably going to be for next week when I figure out how to actually delete a save game. I didn't remove the pack shot here. This is old school musical. Because I felt we can leave it here as a as a reminder that that's the one game I'm not playing. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, don't forget these beans here. Yeah, I, I can tickle his nose. I can't tickle Eternals. So that's a bit far away from my stretchy arm. But yeah, these are the beans that won our riddle last week. So they are our most valuable beans. Let me see how far I can get. No, I, I can I can only I can only cup Roos Chin and then it's over. I can't get all the way up to you. I'm sorry. No pets for you. I mean, that's what happens when you hang from the ceiling, you know? You get less pets. You gotta, you gotta stand on the floor like normal peeps. No, I hate Mondays. Despite the fact that I start working on Sundays, I hate Mondays. Like Mondays, just, just remove Mondays. Just turn the world into a four day week. We would solve so many issues if we just forced 32 hour weeks, make people work four days a week and... Ugh. But I'm, you know, I'm one of those dirty socialists that thinks if we had a minimum, um, if, if we had a basic wage and treated people fairly, the world would be a better place instead of just treating people with more money, but that, that's just a very personal opinion. <sighs> yes, it's a Monday rant because I like rants. <laughs> but I, I think we should start a game because otherwise I'm, I'm gonna fall asleep here. I am. Right. Now, um, I think we are actually starting with Rhythm Doctor today. And if you don't know the games I'm playing today, um, since I turned it into Rhythm Monday, I'm playing the the lesser known rhythm games, the non-competitive rhythm games. So don't expect me to throw on an Osu or, you know, a, a, a DJ Max or easy to DJ. Um, yeah, no, not anytime soon. But I like quirky, weird rhythm games. I like rhythm games that tell a story that, you know, are cute, are retro, are pixelated, are glitchy. Anything that's just a bit on the weird side. And Rhythm Doctor and Rhythm Sprout, the two games I've selected for today, let's see if we get to both, um, are very much like that. Rhythm Doctor is a single button rhythm game where the only task is that you have to press the button on the seventh beat. Sounds easy. Not easy. Oh, dear gods, is this not easy? <laughs> so I would say let's get to it, shall we? Whee! It would have helped if I unmuted the game and not muted the game, would it? Yes. And I did clear my save game because I did 100% this game at some point when it came out and then didn't play it since then. So I think it's a really good time to just start again. Now I'm not going to hydrate again. If I do, I just have to go pee. And I did already calibrate it, and I did already clear my save game. Is it red or is it purple? I'll take it. it it's more pinkish red. But I'll take it. It's a good arm. Okay, you're all set up. You know, you're our first remote intern. We could really use the help. See? See what happened during COVID in hospitals? You just became remote interns. What a horrible life. I'm 
actually gonna hide my avatar here for a little bit so you can flip, <laughs> read the text. I uh, actually started up a game because the calibration took so long. It's a ranked match, so I can't quit out right now. I'm almost done. Your first patient's over there. Dr. Page can help you out. Ian, this was your job. Sorry. All right, you, behind your computer. Hi. Counts for you, Beans, too. <laughs> Our shift is really busy right now, so let's get right to it. We treat patients suffering from different chest pains and heart conditions. You treat patients by pressing your spacebar on the seventh beat. Got it? Listen to the music and press only on the seventh beat. Here we go. Hold on, my timing is not correct. Yeah, this is very off. I thought I calibrated it yesterday and it looked good. Let's do that again. <laughs> I'm, I'm a slammer, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah, this is not calibrated. There we go. Yeah, this was not in any way um, a good calibration. These values should be a lot closer together. Am I just tapping today? Also, I'm still not happy with this. Am I going in the wrong direction? Yes, there we go. No, 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 that's correct. And I usually am about 12 seconds visually. You learn that at some point. Okay, well, it wasn't very identical, but I'll take it. Now let's try that again, shall we? I'm just gonna skip through that. And now you know why it is so important that you calibrate your rhythm games before you play them. <laughs> There we go. Good. Excellent. Keep going. That's it. One more time without cues. Great. You've got the hang of it. Congratulations. See, oh my God. We already won the game. Looks like we're ready to move on. I lost my match though. We've got a lot of patients to treat, so let's get started. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello, Boo. How are you today? Good morning. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm a. I'm a Wagen ND. <laughs> How are you today, Bean? I hope you're having a wonderful Monday morning, and nothing. Nothing break to. Uh, th th nothing. Wow. Me English. <laughs> uh, blab. Yes, we're playing Rhythm Doctor today because that's the only way I can heal people. <laughs> 
But you know what? I just noticed that we can move the game up just a little. So you can actually see the button I hammer on. That makes a lot more sense. Now let's get the easy levels out of the way, shall we? I'm getting there. <laughs> and yeah, mini healer. I already played that. I really enjoyed that, actually. I should probably get back to that at some point. How can you not love the style of this game? Ah shit, I forgot the offbeat. I, I'm not good anymore at this. A plus. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I survived, <laughs> but yeah. Um, 65 early plus 22. Oh, screw you. <laughs> you did it. Oh, it really works. You'll be a huge help in getting to all of these people. It's been crazy around here. Good job. Not a bad sense of rhythm either. That'll be perfect. Let's move on. We got a new patient in here today. An, ad ad an adolescent. I, I swear, I can speak Monday morning. <laughs> you can help him the same way. Be sure to check your pager for some basic patient info. I jotted down when they were admitted. All right, let's go. See, and this is where it gets interesting because you can also play a night shift of each. And... I mean, if you've ever watched any of the hospital sitcoms, like Scrubs, how bad are night shifts really? <laughs> Maybe a question for Boo. <laughs> Having been a taxi driver that drove a significant amount of people into hospitals at night, all I remember is I wouldn't wanna. But you know what, let's, let's do the tough one first. Patient's chest pain has returned. He reports experiencing colorful hallucinations and hearing heavy bass drops. That doesn't sound so bad. Let's see if I can still do a tough one. Yeah, it's some dubstep. No, that was late. Six, seven. Isn't this a beautiful game? Now I just gotta get better at it. Because I'm okay in the single patient missions. But if you're wondering how wild this can get, 
the answer is wild. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I got an A+, plus. I'll take A+. Plus. Great work! A lot of the patients here need to be treated again when different issues flare up. If you prove you can perform well enough on the patient, then we can trust you to handle the follow-up. These operations are usually tougher. Come back to these patients when you're up for a challenge. Da -da -dum. Da -da -da -dum. Patient experiencing sudden heart strain. He seems to have something weighing on his mind. Did I say the wrong thing to her? My chest feels tight. Hey, before we move on, some tips about a new type of heartbeat. Because, of course, it wouldn't be fun if it was only one heartbeat, would it? <laughs> this time you'll get a new kind of patient. Sometimes people come to us with this problem. Their heart skips a beat, so let's catch it while they are still in reach. When a red X shows up on the line, that beat will be silent. Also good morning, Snoodle. Just count the numbers in your head. Yeah, nothing easier than that. And hit on the seventh beat. <laughs> Excuse the nurse, she's Chinese. You are? You are? One more. Nice. Good job. Your next patient isn't even actually sick. I think he's just suffering from excessive schmaltziness. <laughs> Hopefully you can snap him out of it. Well, good luck. Okay. Let's do this. Doctor, you've got to help me. My heart's not feeling too good. I don't know what to do. And you have to forgive if I don't talk too much during the songs. So I suppose you get to enjoy a little bit of music today. Patience is insisting on being treated in here as well. I'll handle the new one. You focus on the boy. What? Oh, she's... She's... She's here too. I like a little bit of schmaltz. I mean, how, how do you not like this? A plus. It's just these simple things. And there are, there are so many good songs in there that just tell stories. Great job, intern. Uh, uh, Hayley, I had no idea you were here too. <laughs> yeah, well, funny story. You said something about having to go to the hospital. 
and then you never texted back to explain why, so I, I kind of started freaking out, thinking you got sick. I got so worried, my chest started to hurt, so my parents had me come here too. I didn't think I'd be so musical, though. We uh, were experimenting with some new methods. <laughs> when I heard that I hate the fact that my avatar is in the way of all the, the people. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide it for a bit. Maybe I should hang from a ceiling. When I heard that you were on this floor too, I wanted to come visit. Oh, cool. I'm sorry that last time we talked, I, I got flustered. I think I said something stupid. What I meant was, no, no, don't worry about it. At least we have plenty of time to hang out while we're stuck here. You can tell me whatever was really on your mind, okay? All right, that's probably enough for now. Let's let Logan get his rest. Ready, intern? Let's continue the tour. Also, I apologize. I can't do voices. I am so jealous that anyone who can, I, I gave up. <laughs> so we haven't explained the whole musical doctoring process yet. We kind of pulled you straight into the deep end. Sorry about that. Thankfully, you're a quick learner. Ian, do you think you could explain this program? It's it's more your thing. Right, uh, the Rhythm Doctor program is a new experimental healthcare initiative. It's a music-based cardiological treatment. By listening to the patient's heartbeat and synchronizing with it, we can calm the irregularities because they totally need to find a lore-friendly uh, reasoning for a rhythm game. It's quick and can save a lot of lives. Plus, interns can perform the treatment remotely. There's shorter waiting times and less work piled on the staff. It's a win-win situation. That's the idea, at least. As long as all goes well, we can... Ian, did you finish setting up that remote connection? Yes, sir. As you can see, our new intern is here and... Very good. But let's not be overconfident. There's still a lot that both of you should be getting to. The shift has only just started. Ensure that every patient is personally seen to. I imagine I'm not interrupting some sort of break. Not at all. We were just... Submit a report about the program by the end of the day. Don't mind him. That's our... Well, don't worry about it. We should show you around so you can meet the rest of the patients. You should be able to shift your video display around the hospital too. Hold on. Something's happening. One of our patients needs help immediately. That can't be good. Oh yeah, he, he, I think he's in need of help. <laughs> You're up, intern. Remember, just stay calm and keep counting to seven. No matter what happens. Da 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 da. Battle worn insomniac. But you know what we gotta do first. Both adolescent. Uh, is, is adolescent such a difficult word to pronounce? <laughs> Both adolescent patients are experiencing an anxious tightness in their chest. Treating them together may prove extra effective. I mean, night shift, we're probably just alone, right? <laughs> ah, I love you, Beans, so much. You're good, Beans. Doctor, you've got to help me. Everything with Logan has been so back and forth. Does he really think that we're just friends? Yes, you are. No. Another patient is insisting on being treated in here as well. Ah, my game finally find a match. Gotta run. I have faith in you. <laughs> Logan, 
Haley, I want to tell you something. No more chickening out. Just say it. Come on, just say it. I love that rain animation. It's so calm and relaxing. I just, I love this song, the way they are in sync in the end. It's just, it's such a dumb and silly love story. I it think it's cute. A. Oh, no A plus. For one mistake. You know, if I'm hitting all of them early, I feel like it's telling me that I'm still not synchronized. Feeling any better, Logan? I think so, yeah. So, what was it you wanted to tell me? You keep saying that there's something super important on your mind, and then your chest starts hurting, and so what is it? Oh, yeah, totally. Uh, it's just that, you know, we've been hanging out a lot, and I, I always feel like we've been super close, and uh, I'll catch you later. We'll talk about it another time. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> oh, okay, bye then. No. It's okay, they will find each other. But first I'm gonna, um, can't do that here now. I'm gonna adjust the calibration again. Can I not custom set them? No? Oh wait, there were more options here. Ah, I can, yes. Yeah, because this, I don't know how I measured this, but I usually am closer to 30 for the audio. So let's see if this does the trick. But before we continue with that, let's... Let's kill something. Da 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 Oh, we're not gonna kill anything. <laughs> I think this might be a bit of a tough fight. <laughs> I will probably need a bit more support for that. But that's okay, it's the first fight of the day if we don't... Oh, there are only 10 enemies. This might work. Let's see, seven? The game has... Oh, the game has been very gentle to us. As long as we can kill that boss. That boss is... is Yeah. Are we not even going to have a single death? We were only 10 people. And it worked. I'll take it. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Oh, I got a petal fairy. I hope you beans got something good too. And 200 gold for Kid Crash. Yeah, let's... What? Why would we skip that? No, let's not skip that. I want a gold chest. Good morning, Dan. How are you today, Bean? Dun, da 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 well then, let's see what our um, slightly problematic samurai here needs. Sword-wielding patient has had chronic tiredness for the past seven years. No medicines have been effective. Rhythmic defibrillation advised. Oh? Um... Let me see. Um, he everything here looks good. So I, I hope it's not me. But my stream, as far as I can tell, looks good right now. Okay. And I have very fond memories of this because this was the final stage in the demo that came out before the game was released and it's tough. And I love it. Okay, this is off again. 
What is wrong with my calibration? I'm not gonna go through this again. I apologize, Beans, but... Let me just get a feeling for where we are. Yeah, this is definitely too late. Yeah, my screen is only around 30. Yeah, maybe I'm just not that accurate today. Because 120 sounds about right uh, since I need to run the sound through a, a multiplier. So I can hear it and you can hear it. And I suspect that that adds like 50 milliseconds or so. But yeah, let's try that again. It can't be that difficult <laughs> to get right, I mean. <laughs> looks like something's messing with your connection. Could it be? And if you know me, you know how much I love glitch aesthetics. Classic case of the Wi-Fi signal chumming virus, Connectifia abortus. It's about to come back now and stronger. Yep, don't lose your rhythm. Are you ready for the night shift for this one? <laughs> uh, because I am. I love this song. Whew, great work. His heartbeat got really erratic, but it looks like you had it under control. Ian, what was all that? Is that supposed to happen? Uh, no, no, that strange virus was disrupting the intern's signal. It, it was even messing with the cardiogram. It should be fixed now, but I'll look into it. Just a small hiccup, hiccup in the process. Hopefully it doesn't persist. Oh, wow, it did? I... I have to admit, uh, <laughs> that I have so many bad experiences with a mobile app. I just gave up. <laughs> yes, exactly, Boo, exactly. <laughs> How's bitty bit life going? <laughs> Got yourself a muscle moment yet? What's a muscle moment? <laughs> okay, hold on. I I need to know. Mm. 
Yeah. You know, why why is the streamer not exempt from the the reuse timer on redeems? I feel like that is rude. But yeah, I, I need to know that. That is an important question to ask. What's a muscle moment? Quite like swiping all, off all the excess lint from a sweater. If Dalton's having, uh, planning on having one, we should all stick around for the spectacle. Okay, I'd be curious if Dalton has a muscle moment. I want to see that. <laughs> Got it. Looks like we're done with this set of patients. Let's move on to the next ward. No, oh wait, that doesn't have a night shift. Oh, okay. Gotta come back later then. Sleeve paint. Oh, oh, I forgot that. I forgot that this has, has the ability for you to actually paint your sleeve yourself. All of it. How, how is this not adorable? From changing your skin color. Oh, I suppose I could also just do that. Yeah, much better. Now I got the right colored sleeve. Oh, I don't actually remember this one here. But like I said, I didn't play this game in a long time. So I'm definitely not up to date anymore. I would, but me writing with the mouse, I don't think you could read it in the end. <laughs> my heart's pounding out of my chest, but I can't stop now. I'm in the zone. Patient is a young musician suffering from supraventricular tachycardia. Sup the <laughs> I hate pronouncing these things in English. It's like I've learned Latin with the italic, well, Italo-centric pronunciation. And I want to say tachycardia. It uh, always throws me off. Administered a two-bead SVT rhythm treatment. You're glor what gloriously innocent. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has a really good point. Um, speaking of which, since we can't really text to speech the glitch, because, I mean, look at the way he writes, um, I am going to add a little pop up. So, questions and answered to the glitch. Sorry, questions asked and answers given. Moxie, finish your sentences will appear on the, the screen. I mean, um... I mean, hold on. You know what we can do? <clears throat> Looks like we don't really need the, the cooldown, so I'm just going to remove the cooldown. It is removed. Knock yourself out. <laughs> we need to help cold brew. Ready for something new? Nah, it's fine. If it's being overused, then we can always move it back down. Now we're in the supraventricular tachycardia ward. Patients here have two beats instead of seven. The nurse will cue you in with the phrase, ready, get, set, go. She's picked up English now. Yay! Remember her rhythm. Here, Ian will demonstrate first. Now without the guide beeps. Dum. Da 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 dum. 
Mom, it's like you know all of this already. Maybe I do. <laughs> Perfect, but I'm still gonna read out the full explanation anyway. As you certainly already know, for SVT beats, it doesn't matter when the beat pulses. Don't be tricked. Just always follow the nurse's get and set timing. Even if the beat pulses multiple times or pulses on an offbeat, just stick to the get and set timing. These funky SVT beats will normally happen without warning, but for this lesson we will deploy a spider to induce them. <laughs> uh, I don't think he looks that convinced of this approach. <laughs> oh, uh, don't worry. This is a completely controlled environment. It's a medically trained professional spider. <laughs> uh, before we do this, do spiders bother you? If you do not want to see a spider on the screen, press the button twice. Are you okay with seeing a spider? Y yeah, we're okay with seeing a single spider. <laughs> okay, let's meet the little spot. Well, what stops you? Da da da. Oh my god, look at the spider. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I fucked that up. <laughs> uh, you've got it down. Your first SVT patient will need to be treated just like that. Keep that beat in your head and good luck. Well, and? You can play Act 1. Oh wait, they are even missing classes? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can raise the game volume a little. Let me know if it gets too loud. Hey, don't mind me. I'll be treating another patient. Just stay focused on your own. Set. Go. Just don't get distracted. A plus. Oh, that was... A very easy, um, 104 late. I'm, I'm going to give up on calibrating it. <laughs> now what, let's do him first. Yeah, let's do the guitar first. Patient risks increased supraventricular tachycardia attacks due to high caffeine diet. Continue to observe closely. I mean, you haven't finished Wasteland yet, have you? <laughs> Hi again. Uh, there's something else you need to know about SVT heartbeats. First, let's recap how SVT beats work. Nice, got it in one go. Mm, just too much, too long, or... 
Wow, you did it perfectly? I bet you took music classes as a kid. Now, you should learn how to deal with attacks. When SVT patients have attacks, their heart rate doubles. And when their heart settles, it halves. The nurse will see changes coming and she will warn you with a faster cue or slower cue. Just follow the rhythm established by her get and set calls. Here we go. Yeah, when, when it's that time, Eternal. It's just time to cut the losses and move on. Excellent. One more set for the patient's sake. Get ready, you can handle this. Hey, Avant Loss, how are you today? Get set, go. And stop. Smooth. You've got it down, honestly. That was perfect. That patient, Cole, keeps drinking coffee lately. Now he's experiencing caffeine induced attacks. You just need to keep him stabilized. Good luck. Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. Uh, I will after the song. <laughs> You're not the first to say that today. Yeah, I have several people already argued about the fact that they are buffering. I think it's just internet crap today. All right, I'm back. Are you drinking coffee again? It's the caffeine that's triggering your episodes, but I can't write music without it. Stop, you're going to hurt yourself. Get away from me. I'm not giving up on music, never. Damn it, I missed the first one. Nah, A I missed one. I, I missed three and a half. How, how did I miss three and a half? But yeah, um, Eternal sent me a picture yesterday of the plate of baklava he got. And my first thought was, those are huge baklava. And I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna show this. Hold on. Let me show you baklava, because this is ridiculous. I apologize to anyone that I make hungry just looking at this. But look at these chunky things. 
that that's not even baklava anymore. That's that's like chunklava. No, I want some. You're rude. <laughs> Send some over. All right, good. Stable again. Listen, I promise everything will be okay. If you really drink this much coffee per day for the sake of your music. <laughs> Chunk lava, I like that. <laughs> Maybe there's something deeper going on. Try thinking of other things that could inspire you. If you can find something, it should weaken the dependency. Doesn't sound easy, but fine, I'll try. Whew, could work with a defibrillation. This rhythm method helps with symptoms, but I wonder if it can treat addiction. We usually need to tackle the issue at its root. It's complicated. Speaking of addiction, there's another patient we should check on. She's actually on shift, so let's go visit. Nope, we're going back because now I want to play the night versions of both. Let's make it difficult. Ugh, another? Before we go forward, there's another type of SVT queue you'll need to know. Although SVT rhythms are usually consistent, sometimes you'll be cued to skip a beat. A red X will slide down the cardiogram with an audio cue. Here's what the cue sounds like. Got that? Here it is again. Right, remember that. Okay. The, the music selection in this game is just... I love it. Looks like you got the gist of it. Now, for something trickier. Keep the beat steady in your head, no matter what. Okay. Here we go. Oh shit, I got, yeah, I was meant to skip one beat, not two. Nice, that patient Cole needs to be treated again. Good luck. There comes the night shift. Staring nothing for an Get, hour or two set, Dropping a go. beat like a hundred other artists would do Clicking some chords like a hundred other artists could do Like Probably gonna hit that don't save changes again Used to write a song a day It's just that lately my perfection's in the way And I can't make no changes to save me Wish I could write more careless Wish I could write more careless This Get, point. Yep. I've punished myself by depriving my health of the things that I like until I fix this. But it doesn't really help, I just get more depressed. I do even less, cause I can't work when I'm stressed. And ignoring my friends means when I'm finally done. Now we know and what left us is all worth it. Oh, I've been thinking too much, and now two hours have passed, and I've got nothing to show. Don't we all know that? We'll give it Set. another go. Mood. Don't we know that mood? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, I mean, um, I started playing rhythm games because <laughs> I'll I'll tell you why because I didn't actually give him a shout out for it yet. Um, Seek, a very very good bean, one day raided a feline called Muscle. And ever since then, I've been kind of following that bean. Plays a lot of Kaizo, which is essentially hardcore Super Mario World, but also plays rhythm games. And we talked a lot about rhythm games. So if you need a cute bean to follow that plays a lot of this and really good, very chill, sometimes rhythm games, then please give Muscle a love, like good bean, very good bean. And you know, looking at this, it's it's like I told him, I kind of want to give it a try. <laughs> I feel like it's it looks like a really, a really interesting thing to get into. So maybe I'll be playing Kaizo at some point. And good morning, Asune, speaking of good beans. How are you this morning, Bean? I think so, but I still can't focus. I want to keep making music, but it's tough to get in the zone. I can only imagine it's hard to feel inspired in a hospital. It's just all the second guessing. What do you think causes it? Hey, I think we should move on. We don't really have time for this, but maybe this is our chance to help. It's. It's tough not to feel like an imposter, like I'm just copying other producers. I still hate the fact that I cover up the character. Actually, you know, maybe you can check out this track I'm working on. Tell me what you think and stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do, we need to get going. Mm, fine. I feel bad though. Sorry, gotta go. We'll check in later. Oh, yeah, for sure. See ya. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's do another night shift. The patient's long hospital stay has him feeling down. The musician is trying to cheer him up, so both heart rates should be monitored carefully. Uh, yeah, he... Coal... Coal brew really has that feeling. Hmm. Maybe you like drum and bass, Samurai? This one's a banger. Oh, you like it. the transition.
I like this song. Well, what do you think? It is as good as the DJs you're used to? Perfect. <laughs> oh, where are we going? Oh, here. Buff peas. Puff, puff peas, not buff peas. <laughs> She's not a buff peas. Ah, it's Monday. Yes, let's get our battle started. Da 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 da. Oh, and just to give you um, a little bit of an idea of where this game goes in the later custom levels, I'm actually gonna do something I usually don't. I'm gonna show you a video of a level I'm definitely not playing, just to give you an idea. <laughs> because if you like rhythm games, then I think you will love what they did in this game for custom songs. <laughs> I'll show you in a sec. But first of all, Ketna and Karth, congrats on your shinobi scrolls. And let's tackle the final boss for this match. Yeah, let's just start here in the center that, that works, that we can all pile up around here. But yeah, I have to show you this because it is just, it is too good not to share. So I'm gonna mute the game for a moment. Because you can not only make custom levels, but you can make custom animations. So someone ended up making a Final Fantasy one. And this is so good, I just have to share this with you, so I'm gonna take a very short break and let you enjoy this. Yes, it's a long fall. Oh wait, I can't, I just noticed I can't mute the game because if I mute the game, I mute the browser that way. So give me just one second. We gotta do that old school by actually muting the game. There. And no, this is not me playing it. Just as a reminder, this is a video. But it is so good, I have to share it. So yeah, if you thought this can't get really difficult... Oh, Dragoon died. Hi Melina! So yeah, just as a reminder, this is not me playing, this is a video. <laughs> but don't you love this? The fact that they even used the bosses and all. Stop running into every single AOE. A cat boys. 
Even though he's more cat man. <laughs> Did you W U no call for C W I T I call we acquainted M N O W P G Final Fantasy X I V has F W E E Twill A W N D includes the entity of a Wiam Webon A W N D the award winning Heaven's Ward expansion up to Wu We U sixty with no West Yeah, I don't think this works. Sign up, A W N D enjoy E Al's air today. Yeah, but I don't think we have to play the whole thing. I think you get the point. This is... This is literally... I love it. So yeah, this is Rhythm Doctor in the custom levels. So if you are looking for a rhythm game that gets very complicated and very wild, exactly. Now you know why I love it. <laughs> but yeah, intermission over. Let's actually get back to playing it. The barista at the hospital cafe is experiencing SVT type symptoms, maybe tied to frustration. Administer treatment during rush hour. I just need to survive rush hour. This job is such a drag. Though we all know that. <laughs> Heinz baked beans. Oh my god. I don't know why I suddenly have to think of red. Um... They're not called baked fried beans. What are the red red sugary candy beans called again? That one of our dog once got into a bag off and ate like half of the bag and then vomited it all over the bedroom carpet and Boston baked beans. And you know the fun thing is if you vomit out Boston baked beans, then they look like bloody vomit. We might have panicked a bit. <laughs> uh. Nah, like they are. I don't even know what are Boston baked beans. Yeah, it's just waking up to the dog vomiting, literally just red blocks out. Jesus. <sighs> but let's help our barista in the day shift. Our next patient is exhibiting yet again a new type of SVT beat. Interestingly enough, SVT beats can swing. Listen to the nurse's cues Did you to know get a feel for how plain streamer Moxie's Motel has a free stream and includes lots of head pads and the award-winning hugs to any time with no restrictions on squeeze time. Sign up and enjoy Moxie today. Yes, we pre-squeeze. <laughs> Listen to the nurse's cues to get a feel for how the swung rhythm is different than the classic one. All right, you're up. Lights, camera, action. Why does it feel chassier in here? I'm cute crash, by the way. All right, awesome. You're getting the hang of it. Time for phase two. Phase two will have you alternate between normal and swung SVT rhythms on the fly. <laughs> Get ready. Good luck, Sheriff. Get, set, go. Ready, get, set, go. Get, set, go. Oh, no, you are Melina. Got it down. Our next patient is Nicole. She works as a barista in the hospital's cafe. Her heart is exhibiting the swung variation of SVT rhythms. Good luck. 
But I think you start to see how even a one-button rhythm game can become challenging, especially after this video. <laughs> I like how exhausted she looks. Poor thing. Just moody songs all over. Good job. Don't you love them? Thanks for the safe back there. I noticed that... I know, I know, the smoking. I promised I would stop. Is that even legal to do in here? It's the only thing that gets me through these absolute hell shift. It calms me down. Are you interested in quitting? I can help you if you want. I've tried before, but if you any have any tips, that'd be great. I understand completely. I can help. We can work on it together. Oh, by the way, this is our new intern, the one behind the screen. They'll be able to help you with any chest pains or irregularities you feel. Thanks, that's good to know. You two might be the only cool people around here. That Ian guy always has his nose in his laptop. Those high schoolers just whisper and giggle to each other, and that other doctor dude scares me. <sighs> uh, I love Klitsch. Klitsch is a good bean. Well, at least the guy in the red hoodie is pretty chill. He actually talks to me. Something to look forward to every day. Sorry, I'm rambling. Thanks for the safe dog. Come back if you ever need a coffee or just want to hang. Nope, oh, first we're gonna do night shift. The bomb sniffing Pomeranian. We're getting there. The musician and barista are due for checkups, but seem to be busy with something. Find them in the cafe and treat them. I like the font he used for Dalton Snoodle. Very, very Sherman. I like that. Okay, bomb sniffing Pomeranian. I follow furry femme boys just checked in. Well, um, welcome to the stream. I follow furry femme boys. I hope you're having a good time here. <laughs> yeah, might not be a femboy, but I try, okay? I, I try. I have a I have a femboy that runs through the screen every now and then. How about that? <laughs> uh. But yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Come on in and make yourself comfortable. I mean, um, Quaggy Char is kind of like a, a femme wagon, you know? Fem, fem wagon, fem, fem wagon, fem, fem. Now I, I, oh my God, just ignore me. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, 
I'll take that title. It's a good title to have. But yeah, enjoy the beat. Thanks for setting up your old consoles in the cafe, Ian. You wouldn't stop asking me. I've got like a hundred hours in this one. This match might be quick. Okay. Watch out. Oh, you're going Falcon? You bet. Oh no, not Falcon. What's going on? Pay attention now. getting there don't don't you love that game i love the music in this game so much i think my controller is broken <laughs> yeah right <laughs> doing the dishes can wait let's go another round well then song of the sea let's see what that is the cafe is available for all staff during the workday. Feel free to relax and spend time with your in-house barista. And yeah, talking of fanboys, I do have to admit I I love your PNG tuber, Boo, but the the 3D model is it's pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> and I suppose it's kind of nice seeing you as an actual boo boy and not a deer boy. And speaking of, I know we have a few new people in here, if you don't know, that no longer deer boy. <laughs> Please send them some love. Very. Oh, look, and we already have the new avatar just too. just brapped with my mouth. You just what with your mouth? You just brapped with your mouth? What was that? <laughs> Uh, what was that? <laughs> uh, let's not ask questions. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. It's one of your clips. Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we all have horrible clips, don't we? <sighs> I 
<laughs> oh, look who it is. See, now we can make music. Afternoon, I'm just vibing for now. Coming right up. You met the intern finger too, huh? Wild. Yeah, I was just talking about you earlier, actually. Really? Yeah, I was talking about how great the stuff on your band cloud is. Yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> I've got a job already. Can't be your pass out my mixtapes person. Sure you can. We're at that level of friendship, right? Almost. Keep working at it, bud. Yeah, I made music. Here's your order. Don't tell number 27 that I let you skip them in line. Secret safe with me, thanks. I know it's in a hospital, but is it weird to like the vibe in here? You like it here? Yeah, it's got atmosphere, you know. Whatever you say. Aside from doctors, I'm used to serving hipster loners in here. So I'm glad I can help maintain your pristine, natural... Oh, I was too slow. <laughs> hey. Just kidding. Well, not really. I can't read and try to make music in rhythm. That is horrible. But I, I do want to get back to the game. And I remember that this actually takes a very, very long time. This is like a 20 minute long conversation. <laughs> uh, clipping clip reactions. Oh, it, we're going downhill now. <laughs> Wait until Boo does a reaction video to my clip video. Then we're in trouble. <laughs> uh, next Friday, the, the only clip reaction stream. <laughs> Bring all your clips. I feel like that is actually not the worst idea. Just have people post random clips and you get to react to them. We'll get bored after 30 minutes, but we'll do it for half an hour. <laughs> <sighs> so that's two of our main SVT patients having episodes in one day and both relapsed into the very habits causing it. So much for self-control. To be fair, you just can't kick a habit overnight. We should check in on them one more time before our shift is over. Ian, you gotta find, you gotta find Cole. The intern and I will check on Barista. All right. Hey guys, what's up? Just checking in. How are you feeling? Okay for now. My shift's almost over. I haven't taken any more smoke breaks, but it's tough. Hard to stay numb during work. Coffee people are so impatient. Yes. Yes. If you've ever seen any of those Karen at um, Starbucks videos or report. Yes. Coffee people. Yes. <laughs> Have you been able to take your mind off it? Does anything help? Hmm, yeah, actually, that Red Hoodie guy sent me a song he made once, and now that song's stuck in my head. So in a way, I guess that earworm sort of helps. Time to go by. Honestly, if every customer could be more like that dude, each day would be a lot easier. That's fine, Seek. We should... I am a firm supporter of sleep in when you want to sleep in. Sometimes you just need it. Good morning, Bean. What's wrong? My chest not feeling great. It'll be okay. The intern will help. 
You used the wrong one, Eternal. You gotta do the exclamation mark SO to trigger the rest. Are you ready? Stay focused on the beat, no matter what. There we go. Without the ad, though. <laughs> oh, wait, it worked. That is interesting. So the clip worked, but um, the recognition did not. No, follow that bean. Seek also. We have so many good yes! beans here, don't we? Oh. Just checked in. Hey, Roland. How are you being? Thank you so much. That, ow. Ow. Thank you so much for coming on in. Uh, well, welcome to the stream. No, Seek. Um, we, uh, you weren't in here yet. We actually spoke about you earlier when we talked about muscle and how you got me into muscles chat. And ever since then, I ache to play rhythm games. So, yes, very, very, very good beans. <laughs> yeah, the, the Klitsch really likes Dalton. <laughs> but yeah, welcome on in. Make yourself comfortable. Today, Rhythm Monday, we are playing Rhythm Doctor. Um, I, back when early release came out, I actually 100%ed that and then just didn't continue and there have been so many updates that i just i had to go back it's such a good game but it's time for a boss fight and yes it's the nancy true boo the true boo yep that that i'm i'm gonna use that the true boo <laughs> uh Ah, anyway, let's start. Oh, Gaming Wolf sixty three just checked in. Hey, Gaming Wolf, thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're having a good Monday morning. But yeah, boss fight. The musician and barista are experiencing a heightened SVT episode. Keep steady with your two beat treatment, no matter what. I think let's hide the avatar. And let's get to the boss fight. This is going to be a toughie, I think. Oh, it's one of those. So let me let me show you something real quick before I do that, because this is. This game has something really weird and something really adorable. And it seems they changed this on this song because they didn't have that in the past. Um, hold on, let me. So here, I'm just gonna set it to windowed mode. Um, I'm uh, not gonna play that way. But I want to show you something this game does because I love, I love this so much. And this didn't. Okay, they didn't do it here. Uh, ignore me then. Damn it. Um. Because what this game does is sometimes it uses your desktop as part of the song. And it never works if you play in full screen, but I wonder if they fixed it. So I'm just gonna go back. We'll we'll check that later. Ignore me. I'm just I'm just blabbering. That that's what I do. Well welcome to Moxie's blabbering stream. <laughs> See you soon, done. Get, set, go. I just can't refrain. One more shot, never again. All the excuses. 
<laughs> that sounds like fun, boo. <laughs> it's okay, kid allowed. Beat off. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that, boo? <laughs> yeah, this game is wild for a rhythm game. I love this. Hey, where did he go? Tell such cute stories. Just how do you not love this? Whew, that was crazy. I thought my heart was gonna jump out of my chest. Same. You you were able to treat them both at once? Perfect. Oh, the, the doc is here. Guess I probably gotta go back to my room. But uh Maybe I could hang out here just a little longer while Nicole closes up. I could whip up something decaf for him, promise. Fair enough, you're not in trouble or anything. Why do I sound like a school teacher? You know, Doc, I don't think you guys should worry about me. That thing you said about finding inspiration to keep making music. I think I can do it without the caffeine. That's great news. Habits are tough to change, but having someone to cheer you on always helps. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> Finally. Cole, there you are. Oh yeah, I, I kind of gave him the slip, huh? You alright, Ian? Yeah, I was running as fast as I could to tell you that virus Connectifia abortus was detected again. This time in Cole and the barista. I was rushing to find you, but uh, it looks like you already handled it. G good job, I guess. Very punctual. Anyway, these two seem to be feeling much better. We'll check in on them tomorrow. Whenever you're ready, let's head back to the main ward. Yeah, this is... Oh, yeah, we still have the Song of the Sea night mode. Let's do that too, before we leave. But yeah, really, really fun rhythm game. And then we're leaving... Actually, actually you know what? Let's do the fight first. <laughs> then we can do the song in peace. Because this is going to be our boss fight. So good luck. Let's make sure we get some good chests out of it. But yeah, uh, this game always makes me feel comfortable. It's just... I'm a sucker for these cheesy stories, for these, you know, feel-good songs. It's just that game has it all. Da, 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 da. Da, 
Dun, dun, dun. Oh, he's trying you a bridge. I think. Ah, and I hope you got some good stuff out of it. And Kit and Dalton concrete on the extra scrolls. Well, let's start a new one right away. No reason to delay. And then we can go back to our song. Yeah, let's just start up here. I don't think it really matters where we start here. Whoops. There. Okay, time for the night shift. Well, look who it is. Welcome back. Thank you for the pride. Make yourself comfortable. We still have that dusty keyboard. Why don't you play for us? Oh, this is another... Yeah, I... I, I these are very long. And... Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna... These are very long, like they t sometimes take 20 plus minutes. Hey, oh my god! The microwave is waiting for you at the reception with 22 more. Yum. Hi, Fluffy. Hi, good morning. Oh my god, how are you? How are you, amazing bean? Thank you, thank you so much for the raid. Um, yeah, you take care of yourself, absolutely. <laughs> um, if you don't know Floofy. Oh boy, Very. I'm gonna come! <laughs> <laughs> we picked good clips today. <laughs> uh, this, this was a good clip, yes. <laughs> Hi. Thank you so much for the raid you've been. Come on in. Um, yes. Uh, Sorry, that clip completely threw me off. Hi. Hi. I'm Moxie. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, I'm gonna come. I, I can't do voices. I shouldn't. <laughs> but it, it really... Uh, this was a good one. No, if you don't know Floofy, follow that amazing bean. I always regret that I so rarely have a chance to, to say thank you because you always stream before me. It's... Oh... <laughs> But you're amazing. Thank you so much. And hi, hi, Beans. Uh, my name is Moxie. If you haven't seen me before, I'm playing Rhythm Doctor today. The one-button rhythm game. Hey, Baked, how are you? Oh, other than Baked. <laughs> but yeah, today I'm playing the one-button rhythm game, Rhythm Doctor. Beautiful songs, really sweet stories and... A surprisingly tough rhythm game. <laughs> oh, thank you, Floofy. I, uh, yeah, you, you're a good bean. And I hope you take care of yourself. I know uh, you always got to... Um, after the, the raid. And yeah, this is single button. You just got to keep the rhythm of all the things as they happen. <laughs> Uh, we've checked in on Logan, Haley, Cole, Nicole, and the two guys with the swords in the hospital. Wait, I gotta... I'm not focusing the screen. There we go. There's a few more patients for you to meet, and then we can see if the rhythm doctor treatments are enough to get them home. Thankfully, this new method is helping speed things along. Oh, uh, uh, Dr. Edega is coming. That's like our Dr. Kelso from Scrubs. Always busy, always professional. Please, don't let me interrupt your important meeting. Go on. We were done. We were just moving on. We haven't checked on Mr. Stevenson yet. It seems to take you two a while to walk down a hallway these days. Regardless, I'm only making my way over here to update you on our staffing. As you're both aware, we've had several staff members quit in the past few months. A shame how some people buckle under the lightest of pressure, abandoning us. That feeble doctor and several nurses, remember? We had planned to have those positions filled in with new staff by now. 
plans have changed. To save budget and time, we're leaving those positions vacant permanently. What? A hospital of this size can't be run... Well, we'll be pivoting to this Rhythm Doctor program to make up for the reduced staff. You've proven how effective this new method is. A skeleton crew should be sufficient to carry it out. Dr. Page, you'll be in charge of giving every patient their individual attention and checkups. Ian, you'll be in charge of facilitating this intern and any new ones you can find in these rhythm-based operations. And as you promised, making sure there are no more bugs in the program. Understood? Our hospital always needs to keep up with the changing times. I trust that you'll all keep up too. Sorry, Ada. It's fine. I can handle it. Well, my shift is over. I'm going to head home. I've still got some work to do. I'll be watching over my mother while I'm home, but hopefully I can make time to fix bugs. Good luck, both of you. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Thanks, Ian. I appreciate it. Try to enjoy the break. Well, that leaves just us. Let's see. I need to check in with Logan and Haley. I need to keep tabs on Cole and Nicole's addiction rehab. I need to check in on Mr. Stevenson. Uh, did someone bring a pet in here or something? Sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you follow that trail of feathers and figure out where it's coming from? I have some other things I need to handle, especially with Dr. Edega always coming, uh, always keeping his eye on me. You're a lifesaver. I'll circle back with you afterward. Okay, let's check in on the bird. Cockatiel. Sir, your hat has arrived. Yay. Thank you for the fedora. Some sort of bird has been spotted in the halls. Some other patients have been following it, so keep an eye on them. And yes, it is a good fedora. I feel like I always need to face downward when I talk like that. It's like, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm tipping my head. Ow! It has a force field. I can't be harmed. Some sur sort of bird has been spotted in the halls. Some other patients have been following it, so keep an eye on them. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's hydrate before the song. <laughs> You found it, thank goodness. Is that a, a cockatiel in the hospital? I feel like I should be surprised. Instead, I just feel nothing. Moving on. Oh, the bird's pulse is showing up on the ECG. Okay, sure. I swear, Ian always misses out on the weird stuff. It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Oh boy. Hmm, that is, that is a good one. A good idea and a bad idea for a vacation. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might have to try that again. And yes, Boo, that is, that is a very good question. Um, that's essentially what this redeem is for. I'm giving you good ideas and bad ideas. So let's see, as a curry, Boo, I feel like... A good idea? Millie? Me? Millie? Who's Millie? <laughs> I, wait, who was Millie? Oh my god, I'm getting all the head pets. Thank you for the head pets. And yes, the, the boop is actually for free, but you can have the, the boop for free. Boop away. Oh god. Yes, it is. Well... I don't think Millie will be happy to know that I have a husband now. <laughs> oh my god. Hey Moxie, my barrister is waiting for you at the reception with 50 more. Oh my god, where barista? You bean. Yes, look at that bean. Just oh, oh yeah, I forgot to equip my weapons. With other good beans oh, on it, I see at least... <laughs> what is that one? You got, you what got is that sure one? That's DJ. <laughs> that's if I get pinned. Oh. <laughs> what is that? Call out. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> 
Hi, Beans. Hi. Hey, you, you amazing Beans. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the raid, Werberista. You're, you're a, a good Bean. And thank you for the follow, uh, Alcaris and Ekra? Uh, Ek Ekrit? That's a tough one. <laughs> how how are you, you amazing beans? Huh? I hope you had a good stream. I looked in a little since, you know, I, I was kind of interested in what you're drawing today for specific reasons. Um, you know what? I'm just going to show it. Because how can I not? Because Moxie is going to get another commission. And it's a jungle's cock. Is that how it's pronounced? Jungle's cock? Jungle cock? Jungles? You all know that big, fluffy, squishy teddy bear you can buy at Ikea? Yes, a... a yeah. how, how about I show you what it's meant to be first? Hmm? Here. This is the IKEA original. A nice big squishy bear. Yes. And I wanted a squishy moxie plushie standing in the corner. And look at that bean. Isn't that isn't that big and squishy and ah, oh, I love it. Really looking forward to the results of that. So yeah. I had to share that with you. That is Werberista. I mean, uh, not that that is me. <laughs> the the artist is Werberista. <laughs> ah, but yeah, f thank you so much for the raid, you beans. It means a lot to me. Um, today, we're playing Rhythm Doctor, the single button rhythm game that can get surprisingly difficult. And enjoy the tale. <laughs> it's a good tale, I swear. Yeah, you go eternal. You go have a wonderful day and thank you. Yep. You know what makes that tale even better? That. Yeah, I think you see now why I have a redeem for it. It's a good tale. <laughs> That's what it's for. Pet away. Oh, I love you, Beans. You're all good, Beans. But we should probably start the level. <laughs> I always get carried away. It's coming in pretty faint. The monitor is not picking up the sound of every beat. You'll need to keep count in your head. Okay. And if you don't know Rhythm Doctor, welcome back done. Goal is simple. It's a single button and you hit on the seventh beat. Poor little thing. Nobody here has vet training. Well, it doesn't matter. Luckily, we have you. Right in turn? It's you! How long have you been, uh, sitting there? You know, without Ian here, you might need to start treating multiple patients at once. We're pretty understaffed. I wish I could help you with the rhythm treatments, but... We're probably better off if I stick to my usual responsibilities. As you've probably seen when you're treating multiple patients at once, their heartbeats might be off sync from each other. Listen closely for when each patient's beat starts. Let's try treating you and the cockatrio together. I know it will be tricky, but I believe in you. Okay, we can do this.
Good job. From now on, we will often deal with multiple patients. Keep an ear out for each patient's distinct heartbeat sound. You assured me a few minutes ago you'd check on Mr. Stevenson. And yet it's interesting, when I passed his room just now, I could hear him asking. You're right, you're right. Sorry, I gotta go intern. You help out the bird. See you later. Okay. We can do this. Not difficult. Look at the birdie. Oh, hey, Haley, come quick, I found it. What are you doing here, little guy? Do you see why I love this game? How can you not love this? This is so sweet. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, this, this could have been A better, plus. but I did it. All right, I'm back. There was the wrong button. There. <laughs> I noticed something strange. Logan's heart is showing strain and irregularity again. It's like we're back to square one. I thought he would be ready to, for discharge by now. Did something happen between Logan and Haley while I was gone? Anything you notice that explains why his heart is pounding? Right, you can't say anything. Can't talk through the screen. Never mind. I need you to check back in on Logan again to stabilize his heartbeat. That samurai guy too, he needs a checkup. While you do that, I was going to help treat our elderly patient, Mr. Stevenson, but... Now it looks like a new patient was just admitted. Let's see how we can help him. And this is totally not a reference to any real life people that were active during the <laughs> release of this game. Richard Yu. What's taking so long? Sorry, this patient just barged into the hospital without filling out any forms. He seems to be in a rush. Let's see what he needs. Oh, it's Malaysian? I didn't actually know that. So we've got a senior citizen requiring care, but now, apparently, there's a politician in here who demands to be treated first. Hey Ian, this is like straight out of our textbooks. What framework do we use to decide who to treat first? Under fair and egalitarian RHS, what do we do? Uh, Ian, we started this barely a year ago, a whole medical ethics course, remember? We, we did? Oh, oh yeah, th that ethics course. I, I didn't know apply that in real life. Okay, okay, I remember now. Q-A-L-I, Quality Adjusted Life Years. Yep, exactly. And how does it work? It's like a formula to calculate the value of people's lives. And the one who has the higher number wins, right? Hmm, so... Between these two patients, uh, wait, does the quality include political power as a factor? No, Ian, it does not. Well, if we don't treat him, he'll slash our funding next year. Case closed. The politician wins. Sorry, cramps. That, that's just how it is. Who's taking Zolo? A 
tutorial? No tutorial. You treat me. Now. Shoo, farmer boy. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, I, I... Yes. Yes. I want a plush. I want that plush as a real plush. I... Oh, yes. But I don't think I can afford a custom plush just yet. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's great, isn't it? Uh, no, you, come back. You created a tutorial. Now let's see what he needs us to do. You, how dare he share my name? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great job, intern. Look, he's got two X's on his ECG. Oh. Why is his heart skipping so much? Is he feeling overwhelmed lately? What was that? Me? Overwhelmed? How dare you? Ugh, you wasted too much of my time. I've got an important speech to give. That I'm 100% not nervous about. And I need the best possible medical care. If you fancy medcrats want to still have your job tomorrow, you better come treat me at my rally. Well, let's treat him at his rally, shall we? Counts in Chinese. <laughs> more shifts, more care. I missed, I think I missed one. A plus. Yes. Ugh. Master multitasker. <laughs> that seemed to work well enough. Good job. No, no, he's back. Here we go. What is the meaning of this? I step away for one second. Do you think you can get away with using some shabby long distance treatment on me? Ridiculous. Disrespectful. I came here for the highest quality doctors, personalized care. Whatever happened to that? You, the disheveled looking dropout behind the screen thingy. I demand to know who you are. I'm prepare uh, I'm reporting you to your superiors. What's your name? Ah, this is what I'm talking about. You think you can ignore me when I'm talking to you? No manners around here. Do you know who I am? I'm Richard Yu. I'm the nation's bloody health secretary. Trying to pass off my delicate operation to some intern in their basement. How dare you? Just wait until I tell the cable networks. If I'm not mistaken, wasn't your party completely okay with this whole Rhythm Doctor initiative? 
Huh, details, details. When I signed off on that, I didn't think that I would get stuck with one of those bargain bin interns. I can't stay here. This place is musty and smells like shellfish. I can't wait to have a phone call with your supervisor. Good day. Well, that was something. Anyway, back to our chops. Here's an elderly gentleman who needs me, Mr. Stevenson. We've been trying to get to Mr. Stevenson for like the last five songs. <laughs> he keeps dozing off, so I haven't been able to speak with him yet. He's experiencing some heart block. I'll take care of it to and get his x-rays done. There's a new patient here too. I haven't met him. Can you handle it for me? Let's split up. Thanks. Ah, first. Ooh, bonus. Nah, uh, uh, let's do the bonus first. Now I'm curious. I don't th remember this one. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is a, a cooperation to the demo we played on Friday for Bits and Bobs. Another bird has flown into the hospital. This one has a strange heartbeat. Can you check it out? Bits and Bobs is another... Rhythm Mania like rhythm game. Rhythm Heaven? Was that what it's called? Rhythm Heaven. Hey, who let that bird fly through the window? I usually keep them closed, but Paige says the patients need fresh air, so now this happens. Alright, the system detected a strange heartbeat. I guess this is what we're doing now. If Paige ever tells you Ian always misses out on the weird stuff, tell her she's super wrong. Hmm. Interesting, the bird's heart rate has a syncopated beat at the end. Basically, the seventh pulse comes in a little bit earlier than you'd expect it to. Don't worry about the math, you'll get a feel for it in the music. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, that's not too bad. Wow, perfect. You never miss a beat around here. Who knew that birds had heartbeats different from humans? Oh, I did. They are simply fascinating. Birds can have all sorts of heartbeats. Did you know that a hummingbird's heart beats at the speed of... Hi, um, I'm sure that's very interesting, but let's go talk about it in the hallway while the intern operates. Good luck, intern. Bye. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it's even the same song. It's the bird song. Even the same story. Oh crap. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, but this is tough. <laughs> it's cute. The fact that they even use the, the same song and the same basic idea. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, these, these get tough. These get really tough. <laughs> Let's see how tough he gets at night.
Uh, okay, hold on. This was a horrible start. Let me try that again. <laughs> this is tough. wasn't too bad. I'm, a plus. I don't get a lot of S's, but I'm okay with A's. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you're, of course, the, the, the chicken turns into an owl. There's another bird in here. It looks like Logan is approaching it again. <sighs> Gotta treat the owl. Gosh. Gotta treat an owl. I really want to tell Haley how I feel, but I keep messing up. She's waited so long, now I feel like I need to do something special. Ah, uh, what do I do and why am I venting my feelings out to a bird? Yeah, you go sleep well, Barista. And thank you again for the raid. I hope you have a wonderful night. You've been standing there. Not very long. Are you doing okay? Doing fine. Just hanging out with his owl. Everything's good. Okay, I can't read this anymore. This is a silly thing to worry about, but I was kind of... Oh, you left. Poor guy. Man, I just missed my chance again, huh? Oh well, at least you're still here. Oh my god, this is so sad. 
We need to help Logan. Okay, hold on. Uh, where are we now? Now we've done all of those, so we gotta go back to the main ward. No, we did all of those. Ah, this is the one we didn't do. The distant duet 3-3. Three, three. Distant duet, not duet. <sighs> but you know what time it is first? Yes. It's time to slaughter. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at how many beans we have now. Got to make sure I place it halfway in the middle. da 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 and concrete's winners. Oh, let's see, where shall we go? Um... I feel like if we aim for this chest, it's the smartest, so let's just go down here. So what are your plans for the rest of today, other than, you know, if you have to work and that kind of stuff? Anyone got anything interesting planned? <sighs> Dear, could you help me? I took a fall and my heart feels off. Elderly patient's heart rate is being detected as uneven. Treat carefully and answer any questions she may have. Before we move on, there's another condition we've been noticing. I know that my elderly patient, Mr. Stevenson, has this type of rhythm, so you'll probably come across it. This treatment is for patients with heart block. Their heartbeats are regularly, regularly irregular. Say regularly irregular three times in a row when you can't speak English well. Yay. <laughs> because the heart signals aren't working properly, the beat comes out with this uneven feel. They want won't pulls out at a regular interval like what you've been used to. Think of it almost like swing music and hit them with the seventh beat. Yep, exactly like that. You're getting it. Simple enough. Now, let's try a case where the seventh lands on a blocked beat. Nice, just like that. Too early. You're getting it. All right, now finally let's go over a trickier type of heart block. The nurse will play some piano to help you. Did you know she used to be a musician? Lightning reflexes. See, not too bad. Now, for this next case, we we're splitting up to deal with multiple patients. Don't worry, I'm handling my patient, Mr. Stevens, and myself. You're handling one of our newer patients. If you encounter any of these swing rhythms, you'll be ready. Good luck. See you on the other side. Okay, swing rhythms. Let's do swing rhythms. Oh wait, that's her.
They make every song so sweet from the story it tells and I just love it. I know Seek. Every bit of it. Thank you, dearie. Can you do me a favor? My husband, I think he's here too, in another room. I'm worried about him. I usually call him every morning. Um, hello? Are you able to help? Oh, it seems you're only a finger. This game is really good with feels hey. and for a rhythm game that is not normal. <laughs> Whew, I'm back. This shift is killing me. I feel like I'm running on an empty tank. I miss when we had a full staff around. Uh, my chest isn't feeling so hot. This is the part where Ian usually urges me to take a break. Can't afford it today. I'll drink some water and keep pushing. Hey, actually I need a favor from you. Can you keep an eye on my heart rate? I'll be fine, I think. It's just as a backup, you know. Ian should be back soon. We just need to hold out until handover. Hmm. Here comes the nurse. She's holding a phone? And I've never had such a shoddy treatment at any medical establishment. It was those buffoons. They they used that phony high-tech stuff, the, the music nonsense. Someone should fire those slackers. And one more thing, when I tell... Click... Ah, just another day. We've got work to do. Ready? Oh, one shift more. Oh, she's the boss. Everything's on my shoulders. And now my heart feels like it's going to give out. Please help. Patient fell down the stairs, suspected broken femur, history of heart block requiring thrung, swung rhythmic defibrillation. Well, let's tackle the boss. Yes, um, of course. We'll get the nurse to call her up and see if she's... Uh... 
I'm so sorry, my mother had another episode, the care is running late, I couldn't just leave her there, I called up the hospital to try and let you know, but I guess they didn't. Mood. Oh. No, they... Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear That's that. Fine. Thanks for covering, Ada. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope the patients didn't give you too much trouble. No, not at all. Hey, okay, so, um, Mrs. Stevenson had a cold, but she's, she's doing fine, but we still don't know if it was mechanical or physical. Just such a good game. So emotional and so good. I can take it all from here. Thank you, both of you. You did great. Thanks, man. Oof. Ada, you look exhausted. You should clock out. I can handle everything. Yeah, yeah, I'll grab something to eat and make my way out. In turn, thank you. That was a real rough run. We couldn't have done it without you. Starting to feel like you're the clue holding this place together. Good luck with the next shift. When you're ready, maybe we can drop by the vending machine. I'm starving. Yeah, this is a very moody game. But you know what time it is? It is time to play another one. Actually, what is the vending machine? Let's see first. Eight years of med school for dinner from a vending machine. Not as glamorous as I told my friends it would be. Oh, there she is. Third day in a row of putting off the groceries. There's just never any time. Too tired. Just need to go home. Eat this protein bar and these chips. Collapse and get up in time for my next shift. Easy. Um, excuse me, Dr. Page. Oh, hi there, Haley, right? Yep, uh, I wanted to, um, ask you something. What's that? I know that I'm supposed to be staying in my room and recovering and all that, but... Would it be okay if I went on a trip and then came right back? My grandma, she asked me a favor. Her hometown is out west near the desert and... But she can't leave to go visit. We have some distant family out there and she wants me to deliver keepsakes to them. And she asked me to take pictures, too. She hasn't seen the desert landscape and her hometown is so long. Uh, in, in so long. That's where she grew up. I know I'm not supposed to leave, but please, please, I'll come right back. I'm not sure. Edega will completely explode on me if he hears about this. I'm... I'm actually clocked out for today. I need to head home, but this sounds important to you. I'll take it to Ian. Let's figure something out. Oh, she does look a little bit like Miss Piggy, doesn't she? <laughs> I never thought about that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <sighs> Leaving hospital care to take some pictures and deliver a box. 
Isn't there probably some driver app that will do that for you? Plus, you can just print out some royalty-free dessert photos or something. <laughs> Ian, please, it's important to her. Fine, fine. Actually, maybe this could work. I've been working on the Rhythm Doctor program and it should be able to work at even further ranges than we've been using, further out from the hospital's computers. This could be an opportunity for the intern to help me test it out. If the connection holds a few towns over, then we'll be able to tell Dr. Edega that we can treat even more patients. People won't even need to leave for their homes to get treatment. Elderly patients, immobile patients, it could be helpful. And someday, the waiting room will be nice and empty. So, we'll let her go out for a day? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Go clock out, Ada. Thanks for all the help. And for you, you're going to follow Haley on her train trip out west. Keep an eye on her and administer any treatments she needs. This will be a great day to test the connection and push its capabilities. Good luck. Yeah, now we're in the train, but before we do that, we had... Ah, you know what? No, let's let's stick to the train. The train is... We can do the tough song later, because that's going to be a rough one. A bystander on the train is experiencing severe chest pain. This may require a new method of rhythmic defibrillation. Each and every single one requires a new method. <laughs> that's the whole point. Everyone's unique. Hello from the hospital. Can you hear me okay? It looks like you're looking to help a minor on the train, huh? I'm looking at the cardiogram results coming in and this looks like it will require a new method of treatment. Under Edega and Paige's care in the hospital, a condition like this would require pretty serious procedures. Luckily for him, I was recently experimenting with a new way to use the rhythm defibrillator to do the type of intense defibrillation necessary to restore his heart's function. You're gonna need to hold the button down instead of tap it. This incoming beat, the incoming beats will cue you on how long you'll need to hold. Uh, no, I didn't, Ketna, and that will come back on Mondays now. For Rhythm Mondays, yes. <laughs> Let's give it a try. I was just looking for a good justification to play it, and I think this is... This is still wrong. Okay, it held it too long. Now let's try doing a longer hold. Now the release cues will only start after you start holding. What? Now we'll keep holding. And listen for the pop sounds and release on the fourth one. Oh, I see. Awesome. Now, finally, let's go over a trickier type of hold. Be ready to release the button when it's time. What? Oh, I was... It's an offbeat. It's a tricky concept, so it might take a few more tries to have the new method down. Even so, it's our best method available for helping that minor. He's completely unaware of how delicate his heart's condition is right this second. You know, you're pretty selfless for treating a complete stranger out there. You remind me of Ada. Anyway, that's all from me. Good luck.
Oof, I can feel it. I think the tough part's coming. Do what you need to do. Let's finish this. I'm taking a break. <laughs> I always cover the important parts. Good morning, Ru Yubin. How are you today? Thanks for the safe, bud. Are you okay? You looked like you were in pain. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better now. Where are you headed, kid? You on the school trip? Oh, no. No, not school. I'm visiting Golden Rock, the town where my grandma grew up. I have a delivery to make and I'm taking photos. You should nap a shot of the few whipping by. I bet you don't get a landscape like this where you're from. Oh, you're right. Let me get my camera. Click. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so cool. It beats being cooped up in a hospital bed. Hey, now it's getting all blurry. Looks like a dusty fog is rolling in. We get that a lot. Might get a bit hard to see. Wow. That is... Take it and run. <laughs> Turn your phone off. Disconnect your email. Make sure they can't change their mind. Are you okay? You, doctor person. Can you help us, please? 70 hours of PTO. Yeah, it does sound like you're working in retail. I know that feeling. Yeah. I know that feeling. Non-stop. It's like every time you want to take some time off, someone tells you that right now is a really bad time. <laughs> uh, I have one and a half weeks of vacation planned end of August. And that, that really drains my PTO. So, you know, yesterday. Yesterday I was working with a hellish migraine. And if you've ever worked with a hellish migraine, you know how that is. I think I did like 50% of the work I usually do. And those 50%, I probably did at 50% quality. But, you know, in, in, in Germany, I would have called in and said, Hey, I have a migraine. I can't come to work. And the boss was like, yeah, okay. Makes sense. I mean, get better. Unfortunately here, because PTO and sick days are combined... Well, if, if I would have taken the day off for migraine yesterday, I would have to shorten my PTO in August. Screw you. Like, seriously. Um, we just had a conversation at work where our boss tried to tell us why we don't want unlimited PTO. Uh, sorry, unlimited time off. Um, so if you're not aware of that, th that's something that has been kind of going around lately, especially in tech companies, that you have unlimited time off. You just don't get paid. But, you know, if you go like, hey, sorry, I need a week. I, I just, I can't, I'm, I'm depressed, I'm, I'm demotivated, I, I can't concentrate, I need a week off. Then okay, take a week off, you don't get paid, you come back, all good. Well, our boss taught us that it's a bad idea. You you do not want unlimited time off because if you get unlimited time off, you also can't carry over your PTO to the next year. So you lose money because, no, wait, the other way around. You have to carry your PTO over to next year. You don't get a payout. So if we get unlimited time off, it's bad because those people who don't take those 15 days off that you graciously give us to get sick over the year, or, you know, take a PTO, if you don't take those, you don't get the cash for them. So if you work 52 weeks nonstop and never take a day off, yes, you benefit from it because you get money. 
I would just rather benefit from having time for myself when I'm sick. So there's there's Monday rent number two. Fuck PTO and sick leave being combined into one. That was a shit idea during COVID because it got people to walk into the office when they sneeze and snot. It was a shit idea before that. It was a shit idea after that. It will always be a shit idea. And you know what? If I go to Classdoor and read reviews for my company, what do I read? I'm so sick of sitting in an office with people with a runny nose or coughing next to me. I don't want to wear a mask all day. I'm a firm supporter of a basic income. I'm a firm supporter of a 32-hour week. I think if we would push companies into that by law, the world would not end. And Google would not go bankrupt. And Amazon would not go bankrupt. And would it suck for some smaller companies? Yes. But, you know, at some point, we do have to take a step forward and do something for those that can't do it for themselves. And, you know, I know so many people who can't work, who are homebound for whatever reason, because they have this or that, because they have autism, they have ADHD, they have depression, they have... It doesn't even have to be mental only. What if you're, you know, disabled from the, the waist down? Um, it's... It's really difficult finding a job that suits, that works, and it's only getting worse. And I would love to see a, a country like America go forward and actually improve it. But, but it's empty hope, unfortunately. <sighs> no comment there. And that's why I think it's so important that we... Not, not, you know, not streamers, not, not furries, but we as friends just stick together and help each other, period. And even if it's just supporting. And yeah, Canada is, it's not getting much better, is it? Um, from everything I hear. Oh, Jesus. What, what bullshit is that, Wu? Yeah, if, if you want... If you want to work 40 hours, then you need to be available 160 hours a week. I'm sorry. Um, this is a very German thing. Let me just tell you that a little bit. In Germany, we love shift labor. Most companies work in two or three shift models. Perfect example. Um, I worked at Bosch. Bosch, everyone knows Bosch. Big company. Three shift. Hey, Res. How are you been? Good morning. Um, Bosch, three shift. The first shift goes from eight, no, from six to 2.30, half an hour lunch. The second shift goes from two to 10. Was it two to 10? I think two to 10. I don't quite remember. And well, two to 10.30. It always goes uh, half an hour overlaps. And then the night shift goes from 10 to 6.30. Sounds like a great idea, doesn't it? It does. The problem is that in Germany, you switch through these shifts. So one week, you have early shift. So this week, I go to work Monday to Friday, 6 to 2.30. Next week, I work 2.30 to 10. And the week after that, I work 10 to 6.30. And, and then I have a very short weekend because I get off Saturday morning at 6.30. And I go back to work Monday morning at 6.00. And that is the typical shift schedule that you have in Amer in Germany if you work in a factory. Like, fuck that. And if you think that's bad, our firefighters had a five-split shift because they had to cover weekends. So during the first week, Monday through Friday, they have eight hours, 6 to 2.30. Then Saturday and Sunday, they have a 12-hour shift on call which they need to spend at the company because it's a big factory. You know, you always need firefighters on station. So one week you work 40 hours during the week and then 24 hours on the weekend immediately after. 
Then on Monday, you go back late shift. You haven't had a day off yet. Monday, you go back in at 2 to 10.30. Then you have a weekend of two days. Then on Monday starts the night shift. And the night shift once again comes with a weekend, but with a weekend of late shift. So on Friday, you get off at 6.30. Uh, sorry, on Saturday morning, you get off at 6.30 a.m. And then on Saturday, you start again at 6 p.m. Have two 12-hour shifts, back to back, essentially. And then you have one week off to compensate for all the days off you didn't have. And then it goes back to start. Now, I'll tell you what our firefighters did. They were young, healthy, 20, 18, 22-year-old men that jumped into this job and yeah, I'm a, I'm a firefighter at a big company, you know, well-paid, pension, everything. Well, after three or four years, they all had breakdowns. We had people who, after five years at that shop, just had a complete emotional and physical breakdown. Because you can't keep sleeping like that. You can't just fuck your sleep over every single week and just... No. Yes, Asune, I'm a huge supporter of midday naps. I sleep six hours at night and then an hour during the day. And I feel amazing. Yes, no, yeah. Yes, Roland, fuck rotating shifts. Ugh, screw them. <laughs> but we should, we should do a song before we sit here in absolute silence. Silence always sounds weird. Ah, sleeping is important. Please sleep more, Beans. I um, put tarp on my windows, Rue, because I don't want any light here. <laughs> yeah, I know, some people just can't during the day. It's... I think the fact that I've spent so much time um, working in night shifts really helped with sleeping during the day. This is a one-button rhythm game. You only need to hit the button on the seventh beat. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all. I missed one. <laughs> yes, Rue. Essentially a very simple game. A plus. <laughs> but it does try its best to really break you. It's a very unique rhythm game. <laughs> Whoever you are out there, you saved my tail twice. Wish I could thank you properly. Truth be told, it's been a while since I've been to the doctor. Maybe I've been pushing myself to my limit. What should I do, Doc? Anything I should eat different or do I need to step away from work for a while? Guess you can't talk, huh? I'm no medic. I'll have to find someone who can help me out. Thanks for trying. I'll just hang tight and hope for the best. And 
you know, I, I, I'm a night schedule worker. I work from 4 p.m. to midnight. That is my favorite time because it, it works with my sleep schedule. So it's now 12. You know, I'm going for like another 30 or 60 minutes, give or take. Then I'll take an hour nap, snuggle with the dogs, eat something. Then I work from 4 to midnight. And then I have two hours to just chill, relax and calm down. And then I sleep from 2 to 8. That's my perfect sleep schedule. And that works for me. It's like on weekends, I will often skip the nap. And I always regret it. It's it's just obvious that my body really enjoys the siesta. And I do wonder if it has something to do with how many years of night shift I have behind me. I, When I was 12, 13, 14, I actually helped my mom deliver newspapers every day from 3 to 6 a.m. So I think that kind of <laughs> impressed me into this. Can I say that impressed the sleep schedule on me? <laughs> Reinforced the sleep schedule. Hey, look, it's Ian again. Can you shift your focus back to the hospital for a second? Mrs. Stevenson says she needs help with her um, birds. With Paige at home and Edega making the rounds, everything needs to be perfect. Let's sort these patients out and then you can continue on with your work on the train. Nope, first, we're gonna play the night shift of this one. This is gonna break us, isn't it? This is gonna be really tough. Night shift is always tough. Uh, no, I just, I hide it when we have um, dialogues because then you don't see who's talking. It's a bit easier. <laughs> 12 hour shifts. Ugh. Um, a dear friend of mine who worked at IBM. Oh. Oh my god, Kara. Breaking news. A wild Kara underscore the underscore cyber fox was just spotted <laughs> in the lobby of Moxie's motel. A tier one critter. I should remove the underscore from the TTS. But thank you so much, Kara underscore the underscore cyber fox. It's very sweet of you. That that I am worth subscribing. <laughs> but yeah, what what did I just oh yeah. No, what did I just want to say? I now I'm completely Oh yeah, 12 hour shifts, right. Um <laughs> Yeah, the underscore cyberfox. It's that's that's now part of your name. That's lore. It's in the lore. <laughs> uh, yeah, a friend of mine worked at IBM and they had interesting shifts. They had four days of 12 hour shifts and then had four days off four days back to back 12 hour shifts and then four days off and always the same 12 hours one group um i think they had 12 to 12 to make it fair like you know one group got in at noon and worked until midnight and one group got in at midnight and worked until noon and you could uh, request to switch the group if you liked one time better than the other and there was an opening. Usually people just switched with each other. You know, Steve went there and Bob went in the other direction. I love it. Four days on, four days off. That sounds amazing. And what do we do? No, we, we have to work five days and, and then take two days off. I feel like four and three. Maybe I just don't want to work. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do the tough one. This is gonna be tough.
Yeah, yeah, don't let the game confuse you. Yeah, it does a good job with that, doesn't it? Oh, oh my god, I did. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. I kind of fucked this up already. Did I? Oh my god. No, no, we have a battle ready. That's why. Oh, yeah, I, I screwed this mission up. Let's try that again in a second here. <laughs> Let's get this fight on the road first. Uh, I know, Kara, and it gets so much better. It gets so much better. Um, you'll see shortly. I think it's like the 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 next next song on the train, if I'm not mistaken. But this game only gets wilder, and I love it for that. I love weird shit. There we go. Now we actually did the fight. And Concrete Stalton and Amblich on the loot. Uh, that doesn't matter which one we take. They are both the same. But I should probably mark this as the last fight. Since I don't think we can do one after that. Because, you know, work. Work, work. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Okay, concentration. You know, it doesn't help that all show the same content. I still don't know which one I want to look at. Birdie's back. Oh my god, you're evil. Oh my god. Nope, I I am not winning this. <laughs> I am I am not gaming here. This was it a B? Was it still a B? Oh it's not over. It should still be a B. Come on. B plus. Okay, a B. I'll take a B plus. That wasn't so bad. Well, 
Time to take care of the burps. More burps. A report from Middle Sea Hospital is coming in. A few unusual patients need attention right away. Yes, let's take care of them burps. Good burps. Oh god, they're only burps. Only burps. problem, Boo. Thank you so much for coming on in. I hope you have a wonderful day. And a chill one, especially. This is a horrible rhythm. No. Mr. Ste Mrs. Stevenson is dying. I managed to do the burps well. I didn't do Mrs. Stevenson well. <laughs> the burps were easy. A plus. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. Eagle. Thanks for the help. Mrs. Stevenson is over the moon. I guess now we're her favorite wet's office too. You can go back to what you were doing. Later. Hey, why does that guy look so familiar? <gasps> Hi, do I know you? Are you from Middle Sea Hospital? That's me. Wow, what are the chances? What are you doing here? Were you released? Your stay's over? Ha, not even close. I did what you did. Snuck out. I didn't sneak out. I got permission. Uh, my motivation's been starving, uh, starting to come back. I don't want to wait for some boring 12-step program. So I figured maybe sneaking out, getting a change of scenery, would help jolt my brain. That makes sense. Being all cooped up in the hospital probably isn't helpful for inspiration. It's pretty lonely in here. I'm lucky I get to hang out with Logan. Who's that? He's, well, he's, he's just a guy from my school. I feel like there's more to the story than that. We're out on a train in the middle of the desert. Spill the beans. Okay, okay, fine. We're friends, but it, it's more than that. I think he has feelings for me. You know, like a like a crush on me. Now you, you're a happy couple. Dope. <laughs> well, that's the thing. He hasn't actually said it out loud yet. It's, it's just obvious. I feel the same way, but he's just so wishy-washy. He's always hiding what he's feeling or thinking. He can't say it. We spend a lot of time together, but I just want to get to know him more. 
I don't mind waiting around if he's shy, but if you want to meet him, if, if you want him to pick up on your feelings, you've got to send him the vibes. Something that forces him to take the hint. I've got an idea. I'm pulling up a track. Here, take a listen. Let's do the train song. I think this was the one that went a bit wild. Hi, Dr. Finger. Don't tell Dr. Page, but after I got on the train, I noticed my heart beating in a new way. Of course, we need more rhythms. I don't think it's a big deal, but I figured you might want to practice it before we hear Cole's song. Oh, so she has a late start. Wonderful. It's a relief having you around. So, um, remember when I said a, a new way? Promise you won't tell? Yeah, there, there's another one. You might want to check it out. Yes, I already hate that one. That was great. All right, back to what we were doing. Okay. Yeah, the music is just so good. If it's any help, despite, ah, despite being good at rhythm games to some degree, I suck at DJing. <laughs> I have no taste for art. So I have trouble knowing what fits. gotta love what this game does with the screens every time.
Yeah, this game is good at at making it difficult for you. <laughs> well, I like it. I didn't realize you were like actually a musician. No offense. Ouch. <laughs> Thanks. Send that song along to that Logan guy and he'll pick up on what you're saying. I'll give it a try. Looks like we've arrived at my stop. I'll be off then. I've got to take lots of pictures for my grandma. I'll show you around town. Let's go find those folks of yours. Great, thank you. Oh, hey, what's your name again? Cole. Cole, I'm Haley. I'll see you back at the hospital, right? You know, now that I snuck out, I was tempted to just make a run for it and never come back. But whether I like it or not, the hospital's the best place to hang out with Nicole. So, yeah, I'll definitely see you there. Good work in turn, but uh, you really... Uh, uh, what? I think I'm needed at the hospital. Oh, this doesn't even have a night version. I see. Yeah, let's let's go back to the hospital. You're back. Thank God. You can still hear me, right? Something happened while you were gone. It, it almost severed your connection to the hospital. Who looks like Paige is back for her shift too. What's going on? Why is the power flickering on and off? You're just in time. I'm not sure what's happening. Our network just became really unstable. It keeps losing connection. My PC started overheating. All of them. And now even the electricity in the building is giving out. The, the backup generators have taken over, but they are starting to overheat too. Even my phone is acting strange. Did something happen? Did a power line go down? Wait, forget it. How are the patients? Is everyone okay? I started checking everyone as soon as I could. Uh, nobody's condition is out of the ordinary except for that chronic insomnia patient from earlier. His heart rate is out of control. The, the virus that was jamming our signal? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Intern, let's go. We need you. We can't let this virus take hold of the building with so many patients here. Just focus on the seventh beat no matter what. Yes, and this... This... This song was the original ending of the demo when there were only like four songs. This song is probably my favorite song in the whole game. Yeah, he, he has insomnia. That, that, did you never have insomnia, Ru? <sighs> the patient is experiencing a relapse. Treatment method remains. Rhythmic defibrillation on the seventh beat. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Enjoy. No, that's not you. Oh, it gets worse. This is an asshole song. The virus. It's it's broken off a chunk of his heart. Hope you're good with irregular time, intern. Here we go. Same rhythm in your head now, stay calm. Hmm. 
Nope. Ah, oh, and I was so close too. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> yes, this is an asshole song. But that's okay, we can do it. <laughs> yes, Kara, it is. It is. can do this. <sighs> My beans probably remember the first time I played this song I started counting loud. <laughs> uh, it helps. better at this at some point. Uh, let's try a different song first. I need something lighter. Then we still have some over. Ah, you know what we could do? Wait, what is that? Oh my god. Oh my god, is that... Of course, that is... um. What's the game called? I have it too and it's fun. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Muse Dash. That is another rhythm game on the list. Yeah, I, I suppose let's try that one. Let's see if... Uh, this will break us a little bit less. Yeah, this game, this game can be rough. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Before we go forward, there's a special type of SVTQ you'll need to know. Because sometimes patients will experience one-time unexpected fluctuations in their rhythm. They are short and quick, but they are just as important to treat carefully. The cue will... Uh, the, the nurse will cue it with a get set one to help you. Instead of continuing to hit every beat like with the SVT beats, you just hit it once. Sometimes the nurse gets tired and leaves you to hear the sound cue instead. It's a weird sound cue. Got that? That also means you should hit just once after the cue. Okay, let's practice this. Okay. Now when the nurse says two instead of one, you'll then hear these two sounds. And you press twice. Makes sense? Cool, let's try it out. Finally, sometimes there will be a switch up in the rhythm. You'll hear this sound. Then you'll still follow the one command, but they'll come in a different pattern. 
No time to lose, let's get straight into it! Okay, that's easy. There's some sort of chase going on downtown. I'd call it a car chase, but I see some girls running on foot. Head out there and treat them remotely before their hearts give out. Thanks, good luck. Okay. Let's hope this one isn't too difficult, shall we? Oh, of course, it's, it's our politician. I want a donut. Muse Dash, also a really, really wonderful rhythm game. Um, I just really suck at it. <laughs> uh, we're glad you decided to stop by. That was quite the car chase. Uh, yeah, we can barely breathe. Why were you chasing that limo anyway? That Mr. Use is a pretty high ranking guy, you know? Plus, I'm pretty sure he hates us already. That grumpy guy in the big suit stole my favorite donut. I saw it first. I'm sorry, what? We're not from here. We're on summer break. Walked past a nice bakery and... I saw the deluxe blueberry cream cheese donut first, but that man cut right in front of me. He took it. And I was the last one. You're... Mad about a donut? I would be. I'm mad that you're not mad about a donut. Max Furry is just checked in. Hey, Max Furry. How are you being? Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you have a good day. <laughs> anyway, what's with the uh, costumes? Oh, and thank you for the head pits. They are, they are very good head pits. They always reach right behind the antlers. That's where, it, where, it, where it's needed. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for the follow. Come on in. Make yourself comfortable. And enjoy your bunny. You. Anyway, what's with the uh, costumes? Should you really be walking around town dressed like that? Hey, but I don't remember asking your opinion. Ouch. <laughs> you might need to stay the night until your heart is back to normal. Any plans for tomorrow? Sightseeing. Going to a club. 
Food tour. Ah, I see. Well, be careful out there. Okay. Let's hope it doesn't get too much worse with difficulty. Because this was something light. Ooh, style. Let's keep going. Marisha promised us to buy desserts from every shop we find. Please, we need a break. I didn't want to be sick for the whole trip. You know, I wasn't even aware it already started. That is unfair. I thought it's still text. <laughs> Let's try that again. Bureau. Wait, maybe we can just wait and sit and enjoy the sunset. I'm so full, my head feels soggy. Oh my god, no, I'm, I'm... Oh wow, nope, nope. <laughs> uh, I think the concentration is slowly failing. I am no longer capable to do these. You know what we can do though? We can throw one more song in. Because this game has custom songs that you can download in the workshop. And there are so many of them I haven't tried yet. Um, let's just see. Let, let's not pick something tough, shall we? Because I haven't played most of them before, but I'm kind of curious to at least throw one in. What's that? F f Fort? Frog Knight Funkin? It's not too tough. I, we don't have to do easy either. Oh yeah, I love this song. Let's see if we can do a medium. Is it another rhythm game? I sucked really badly at this. <laughs> uh, wow. But yeah, you gotta admit, it's a fun game, isn't it? Yes, and we're definitely coming back to this because we still have 
so many levels to go through. We still, we're only at 50% so far for the songs we've played. So yeah, we're definitely coming back to that, but that will be for another Rhythm Monday. Because for today, I think that's the time to slowly wrap it up. Because, uh, because I do have to finally find some breakfast and then, as I said, siesta. <laughs> so yeah, this was Rhythm Doctor for today. If you like Rhythm Doctor, if you like weird rhythm games, please pick it up. It's such a wonderful picture, a uh, wonderful game. And yes, aren't they cute? Look at them. Aren't, aren't they? I can... Yeah. Boop. Boop. <laughs> so yeah, um, if it's your first time here and you have no idea why I have other beans on my wall, that's because this is my most valuable bean wall. These are the most valuable beans. Beans that... Oh, well. Are you gonna clean up in here after you're done? Someone has to carry all of those back out, you know. Ow. But yeah, if you don't know who these beans are... Um... Then let me show you. Oh, we have one of your... <laughs> face reveal ones. Caught red-handed. Or red, red pod. <laughs> you made a clip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that song was in there too. I didn't actually play it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's a problem if you don't remember where your clips came from, Rue. <laughs> but I imagine alcohol was involved. Now, if you want a DJ and gamer, check Rue 3K out. Very good bean. And I mean, you, if you were here last week when we, you know, said hi, you know that. But yes, very good bean. And uh, recently plays SnowRunner a lot. I, I love hate that game. I, I've played it myself so much, but every time I play it, I feel like I wish it was a little bit less slow. It's like, does every street in the whole damn state have to be so slow and snow-covered? Uh, it is a very relaxing game. It is, it is a game where it's often difficult to completely get stuck. And as such, it's a, it's a game that, you know, you can just play and sometimes you make a mistake, but you can usually fix your mistake. Yeah, slow runner, exactly. But yeah, let's start our last fight. Yeah, I, I, you always call it Snunner, and it, it, I mean, I suppose it's pronounced Snunner, and it really fits. It really fits. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I think it is time to start raiding out. And I have a very good bean on the list that I wanted to raid for quite a while, but it never really worked out. So, today it does. First of all, Elliot and Hanno, congrats on the loot. And then let's go back. So yeah, where are we going today? I, oh, hold on, I gotta make sure this is muted. There we go. We're going to say hello to a hyena. Yes, I know at least one person already knows where this is going. Because Light Yin is playing Celeste. And if you know anything about me, you know that I love Celeste. It's I fell in love with that game while watching Avi play it, and it only got better. I Celeste is such a good game. And yeah, we're gonna say hi to Light Yin. Oh wait, I, I didn't think battle my computer at all. That was the wrong command. <laughs> yes, there's nothing bad on my computer at all. <laughs> uh, nothing at all. So yes, um, 
<sighs> thank you all for being here. You know, I, I, I could go through the names. I mean, <laughs> we had so many today. Um, I always feel bad thanking individual people for being here because I know I'm going to forget someone, period. It, it, I can't list everyone. But, you know, Ru, Ketna, Kara, and, and Dunn, and and uh, Eternal, I think, is currently still out, and Res, and Seek, and and all the, the beans that came in from our two raids. Thank you so much, Beans, for 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 considering me worth trusting with your audience. I mean, Floofy came in with 22 and, and where Barista brought another 50. I don't know how I deserve that, but I'll take it. So yeah, thank you, Beans. Thank you for just being here. And I hope you have a most fantastic week. You enjoy it, you relax, and you know, see you Wednesday. We're, um, Wednesday, we're going to go back to Biomutant or Wolfenstein. Not sure yet. We'll see. That's, that's what it's all about. Just do what you feel like. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I got to go before we are too late for this raid. So I love you all. Bye-bye. See you soon. Let's play Scooby-Doo music.